And that brings us into homeschooled. And this time joining us, it is Anthony McCarron. Anthony, at this point, if it's not Buck Showalter, how big of a surprise would that be? I'd be pretty stunned, Michelle. I mean, Buck has all the publicly, he is by far the favorite. Uh, he's getting written about the most. There are more uh, voices out there sort of opining that he's the man for the job. Uh, so he's got a lot of heavy media support. The owner apparently likes him behind the scenes. Max Scherzer, there's been stories about him uh, having an affinity for Buck as well. So publicly, he's way out in front, I think. And the fact that he's going to sit down in interviews with Steve Cohen now, uh, being part of it, and Steve Cohen being a guy who seems to have a, a feeling for the celebrity part of the job. And certainly to me, Buck Showalter is by far the biggest name in this candidate in this group of candidates. And that can only to me strengthen his candidacy with the Mets. And, and I think he's probably going to get the job. We'll find out for sure shortly, but he's way out in front. How confident are you that Bill Yepler is going to get this higher rate? Right? Well, look, Billy is a smart guy, and I think he deserves the, the benefit of the doubt here to have a, have a good shot at making the right call. Uh, look, he's got the job. He, he, you know, he earned it with Steve Cohen, and he's got a lot of, a, a lot of great stuff in his background, you know, coming up through the Yankees, being the GM of the Angels. Uh, he's done some good things in terms of hirings. Um, you know, he recommended Showalter earlier. Uh, for the job with the Angels as, as well. Uh, you know, so he's got a lot of things going for him. I, I think he's in a good position to make it. Look, he's not going to make, he's not going to hire somebody that Steve Cohen doesn't want also to be the manager. So there's that involved too. But I think that Billy knows enough that he can play any sort of angle that needs to be played here to get the right guy in the, in the position. And I think it's Buck. Well, in today's baseball world, obviously it's subjective and every team is different. But universally, what do you think is the most important trait in a manager? Well, look, I think, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at it through this sort of this Mets tunnel right now. And I think what they need more than anything from their from a manager is they need to look over at the guy standing in the dugout and think to themselves, he's got it. This guy's got it. And I think that's where Showalter really rates highly to me, because I think if the Mets players heard that he had the job, they would say, OK, we're in a good spot. This guy knows what he's doing. He does not have to learn the position. And I'm not saying that, you know, no first timer could ever be the Mets manager again. I just think in this instance, with this team built to win, you know, a lot of money poured into it to win right now. I think that they have they've, the right guy for the job is the one with the most experience. And that's Buck. They have tried to discover the next great candidate. And it's they're 0 for 3 uh, doing that. It's no fault of their own that the, the Carlos Beltran thing fell apart. But the other two guys did not work out in the end. They fired Louis Rojas. Uh, so they obviously didn't believe in him. And, and Mickey Calloway was obviously a disaster. This is the time for the Mets to strike with experience. And, and Buck is that guy. And I think he's got that sort of, you know, dug, dugout knowledge that will calm the players and let them concentrate on just winning ballgames.